Okay, so uh, so another one of the questions yeah. of etiquette is your partner wants to try a fetish. And how do you how do you address that like what question? doing it with the lights on? Well, you know, maybe they want to try fisting. Maybe they want to try. You know, I have imposed a moratorium on that topic and well, that word or some other type of fetish. Maybe they want you to shrimp their toes. Maybe you know, maybe they want to try a little light BDSM. Be adventurous, but it's also about communication and it's also about f making each other feel safe and doing things that are you know that aren't just comfortable because comfortable can get boring but doing stuff that both of you have agreed mm -hmm. you want to do um and sometimes you have to have a conversation out of bed you know don't you know don't show up dressed as the rubber man from american horror story with unless a, you're coming to my place exactly and you know uh, you know out of nowhere and be like girl um i'm gonna slick you down with baby oil and, and i'm gonna put a demon baby in yeah, you. yeah and i'm gonna slap my bitch up because I would be like, hold up, mofo. Give me one second while I get my hot snatch ponytail out. Yes. yes. Which you just happen to have under the pillow. Right. So, whoop. Bang. I think if it's something that you want to try, try it. And if it's something you're not comfortable with, don't do it. And once again, I, I've said this a couple of times, no means no. I do think it's healthy to have these conversations. And I do think it's healthy to try something a little bit outside of your comfort zone. I really do. Hmm. Have I tried anything outside my comfort oh, zone? God. Honey, is there anything left for you to try? I have definitely tried things outside of my comfort zone. And honest to God, you know, once outside of your comfort zone, once was enough. Oh. You're not going to mummify me twice. <laughs> Girl, you need to go serve Papa Legba. Now to the trash. Okay, so this question I thought was sort of interesting. Uh, first date etiquette as opposed to hookup etiquette. Okay. And that's a little bit oblique, but I think I understand it. A little out of my wheelhouse, but okay. Yeah, I think, I think a hookup just show up. You know, the, the the rules are established. Wait, are they asking a specific question about dates or what, what's up? Uh, it's just first date as first date etiquette as opposed uh -huh. to hookup etiquette. As in life, be on time, smell good, don't be an asshole. And that goes for both. I think if it's a first date, uh, I would say bring if it's if he's if somebody's making you dinner, show up with something, show up with a bottle of wine some dessert don't show up empty-handed bring drugs yeah um don't push for sex on on the first date necessarily it, i'm not saying it can't happen on the first date but don't pressure somebody sometimes it's cute but to be sit ready there and talk, but be ready uh sometimes it's fun to talk all night and no get it to never know is it never never no, no, is no, no, that's not true girl i've met a lot of people and they're boring no. It, no but sometimes when there's a true connection you guys know it's true yeah also be showered be fresh be ready in life yeah and be on time and be on time yeah. and you know and and if it's a hookup you don't need to bring up you don't need to bring some because they're serving up the gulo that's what they always say like go about. see a movie because then you have something to talk about afterwards right uh, right pick the movie carefully don't go see hereditary which oh. is a great film but you know because then not, if they're like super horny after hereditary the right it's like honey yeah no yeah or you get back to their house and they have little doll houses yeah and don't go see a romantic film because you can never live up to, to whatever that expectation the, that movie is but go see a movie or whatever it is that people do on dates i wouldn't know i haven't had a date in 18 years That's so great. if you're gonna go on a date be a nice person that's really the basic gist of show it. up with something you know what? Your sparkling personality is not going to be enough. Is not enough. <laughs> Show up with a bottle of wine, because even if they, even if it's something they don't like, they'll be like, oh, they, you know, they brought something. It shows that you're generous of spirit and heart. I look hard. Give Papa my regards. Don't show up to a party empty-handed. Speaking of parties, can we talk about your new crush, Black Crispy? Miss Black Crispy? Yeah. Um. I. First of all, it wasn't a crush. Lies. We were at a party yesterday. Yes, we were. Oh, by the way, a raging soiree. It was fun. That was super fun. Our friend has an Emmy, and I wanted to hide it. <laughs> or, or she wanted to put it in the middle of, the, of, ham. of the ham. She was like, Matinga, Matinga, <laughs> go take the Emmy. 
and stick it right into the middle of the of the baked ham. <laughs> and I was like, no, Miss Thing, no. And she I was always like, want to like, do that. She's like, go take the Emmy and like and hide, hide it, in the, it, hide it in the shower. <laughs> Just go make ahead. them gag. Like, I'll, I'll be the diversion. Go hide it in the shower. I was like, no, Mary, no. But there was a person there that you call Black Crispy and you were really enamored of them. I was I, I just thought they were very interesting. To me, she looked like a Black Quentin Crisp. And she was had a, a you know, a very arch. She was uh, she was a total She was a bop. bop. She was a bop. She, she was a bop. Yeah. She was she was African American, but she was wearing like a full face of paint, but as a boy, but not like not like not like kind of this sort of paint, like a boy paint. Like giving like a like a girly paint, um, what? Not not too subtle. No, well, not, neither is your paint. Please, um, Miss Black Crispy. But she was interesting and funny. She was wearing culottes. Oh, Honey, really who really can't love a queen wearing culottes? Exactly. But Honey. the queen that you were really into uh, was a large sized person who I believe you said had a mountainous butt. Was it mountainous? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That dude probably was over 300 pounds. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Love makes the world go round. But he was big and he had like a like this bearish face and I thought he was sexy. And then my good friend who will remain nameless, not this one Mizell. right here. You know, I'm like, I'm like, Mizell, do you know that dude over there? And, you know, is he, does he have a boyfriend? And my friend Mizell's like, yeah, this is his boyfriend right here. Honey, come over here. Like, how long have you guys been together? And I'm like, she needed the help. I could have had it. I could have. Maybe you could have had them both. I could have stolen it. I could have taken it. Honey, you could have. You could have been to the mountaintop. <sighs> you know what? Maybe they they wanted a three way. Uh, you think? Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps we should have stayed at that little geisha a little longer than we did. Until they broke out the cocaine. Yeah, until they broke out the cocaine. No, we can't. We can't no, 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 I know we can't. Yeah, we can't. That should just be beep beep beep. Yeah. Another one of the children, and this is kind of a serious one. Says Matinga, how do you deal with a stalker now? Interestingly, you've had a stalker. I've had a couple, but one primarily, yes. And one was kind of off the chain, like scary letters, so, videos. You know, so this guy, letters, yes. Yeah. Also a video of himself masturbating, and then he's like... And saying the most horrendous Look what you made me do, you dirty bitch. You dirty bitch. Waving a gun around. By the way, a good friend of ours had sex with him. Yes, and I said, bitch, you slept at my stalker. And he's like, yeah, he had one testicle. Okay. Yeah. So I think the first thing is... Don't sleep with your stalker. And don't sleep with your friend's stalker. That's yeah, rude. It's so rude. Um, uh, but if you're really, really, really having someone stalk you, um, get an order of protection. Cease contact with them. Right. Don't take it serious. Don't engage. Don't engage. And this is like because Michael is a personality out there in the world da, 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 that, da, 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 that drew a stalker to him. But honey, oh, yeah. but honey, anyone can have a stalker. And in fairness, the a, stalker was hot. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Uh, but I wasn't gonna do it. At, like in a in a greasy, like cummy, like very dirty room sort of way. Well now I miss him. I know. Him. Um that was his name. Him. him. The thing is, don't engage. If it's at work, let management know. If it's not at work, like it's an ex or a boyfriend or or a fan, then you inform the police. You don't engage. You know, a lot. Most of us don't have the the financial wherewithal to move, so we can't do that. So the thing is, you know, whenever they engage with you. You write that up. You make sure that there's a log of that. You let the police know and you get an order of protection. You block them in whatever channels you can block them. In. Exactly. Exactly. And do not engage. And, you know, and then just watch out. Like, is it's just really common sense. And we only we, we only share it because it's actually happened to both of us. Although you engaged and engaged. It was material. Remember, yeah. he said, don't you dare use that footage. And then I used it. And you did. That's right, bitch. That's right. That's how I do. Shh. By the way, he slept with Misunderstood. Yeah, that drag queen Misunderstood. Fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> so when John and I lived together in San Francisco, I didn't even know I was stalking him. I was just following him. Because I'm like, oh my God, I, you were. I'm like, I know he going to see some boy. And I, yeah. honey, bitch, I followed him all the way up, what was it, 18th Street in San Francisco. He was going to his pot dealer. And by the way, he knew I was following him. By the way, I was being so slick. This one. Hiding behind a date palm. Mama. And I had to go stay at the house for four days. Uh, Judy Garland on crack? <laughs> I can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> the 
point is, I did stalk him and I didn't even know it. I was just a yeah. very possessive, jealous little teenager. You were. I really was. But he knew I was following him. But I was like, oh, I'm going to catch him going to some boy's house. This, uh, and then what so was yeah, I going to do? And what were you going to do? All high on toad? I don't know. The point is, it's not cool. It was not cool, kids. Me and my silk stalking. So don't be a stalker. <laughs> No, and don't be a hater, but do be a subscriber to Homework here on YouTube. That's right. Like, comment, and subscribe, and kids. Share. Thank you so much for coming back to us. This is Miss Matinga. This is Mike Diamond. Learn it. Black, 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 black.